Hey guys, today we're going to fix a computer that's stuck at the Apple logo, at the startup Apple logo. So the first thing that we're going to do right now, it's off, we're going to just turn it on. As it's turning on, we're going to press the letter D. I do recommend having a wired keyboard for this step. If you have one of those Bluetooth ones, uh, you can still make it work. However, it is easier with a wired keyboard. So you, you don't have to get a Mac one like this one. You could just get a regular PC one and hook it up to your iMac or MacBook. Um, if you do have a MacBook, your keyboard should be working anyways. If it's not, then you could connect another external keyboard. So as it's starting up, we're just holding on to letter D right now. And we're not letting go. As you can see, there's no Apple logo yet or anything. Now what this has to do is a hardware test to see what's going on with the computer. There's several reasons why you could be stuck at startup. The most common ones because you didn't update. So some updates just go wrong with uh, some computers. So that could happen. And um, just in case, always have your time machine ready. And um, for a time machine to work, you just need basically any external hard drive will work nowadays with your Mac. Okay, meanwhile you're pressing the letter D and once you let go and you got your Apple logo and nothing's happening, it's just stuck there once again, um, you basically have to go to the next step which is this. So you're gonna have to turn off your computer again. So we're just gonna hold on to the button on the back till this turns off and then turn it back on. As it turns on, press the letter C on your keyboard. Press the letter C. And just wait for it. From this step, if it's still not booting up from your CD or USB drive, we're going to go to the next step, which is, I would actually skip some steps and just go to the recovery. So in this step, we're going to do the same thing. Turn off the computer just by pressing the back button. Now to do your recovery, you're going to have to press Command-R, okay? So we're just going to turn it on, and press Command-R. So here's my command key, plus the letter R. We're going to hold on to those till we see this, the app logo again. Okay, then we just let go. Once we do that, you guys should see this happening. And you're just gonna let it think for a while. Okay, on recovery mode, you're gonna see this. Okay, from the, in this case, we're gonna do it from Time Machine. So hopefully, you had your backup. Okay, your external hard drive should be on right now. And this is my external hard drive back here. So it's hooked up, it's on and ready to go. You could also do other things. You can just reinstall OX. So you will lose a lot of stuff if you guys do that. Uh, you can do Disk Utility to fix what's the problem with your hard drive. Okay. And um, I would actually do this if um, I didn't have my Time Machine on. But I do. So I'm just going to select Time Machine. Go continue. Okay. And then just. It's a matter of just following steps. Um, always read what they tell you. We're just going to press continue on this. Okay, there's my time machine. Okay, I usually have my time machine always up to date. This time it wasn't the most up to date thing. It, it was only a few hours off, which is okay. I'm just going to lose a couple of files. No big deal. So we're just going to press continue. Now, if you have it, if you haven't done your backup in a couple of weeks, then that's going to be different. So, here it is, my latest one, which would be December 17th. That sounds about right. So, we're just going to go continue. Okay, and we're going to select the destination. Now, this is another backup that I have. 
Uh, we're not going to click on that, obviously. We're going to click on iMac HD. That's where we want our destination to be. So we're going to restore destination disk, which would be here for sure. So the system will restore onto this disk. Okay. You might just see one. If you only have your time machine on, then you just might just see this. So we're just going to click on restore right now. And press continue again. At this point, I'm just gonna pause the video because it does take a little bit for it to restore. Um, this is pretty much your last resort, and um, pretty much your your last and your first resort. I mean, you, you do skip some steps into going to this, but um, it, it's the best way to do it, especially if you have time machine. If you don't, then um, there's other ways of fixing it which I will show you. Um, it ba basically takes up the first two steps that I showed you guys. Hey guys, I just want to give a heads up. I am doing this restore with uh, FireWire. Okay, so this is a FireWire hard drive. And it's going to take this time. So if you have um, USB 2.0, then it might take even longer than this. So be aware. Okay, once it's done doing that, you just need to put your Apple ID. From this point, you can set this up or not. Um, iCloud Keychain does keep your passwords and credit card information if you want to. Um, for passwords, yes. I would never do a credit card though. In this case, we just skip that, that step. If you do go to that step, just put in four digits um, and that's it. From this point on, you just have to wait for your computer to reload and you're pretty much done from here um, you should see everything back in its place once again it will take a little bit so be patient on just opening up your programs and stuff like that wait for your folders to come up on your screen if you had a lot of folders um, I had two screens set up for my Mac so I'm gonna just turn on my second one and see if my folders loaded up there and I can see they did that's my second screen um, Try to restore one of my sessions, another session right there. It will try to restore some of my stuff that was open on that last day that I restored this from. And that's it pretty much guys. If you guys have any comments, questions, and need further help if this didn't work, just uh, leave it right here in the comment section. I'll try to help you guys out. Um, I do have other videos, so just tell me whatever you want and I can probably direct you to the correct video. Or um, I can probably help you out just in the comment section. So don't forget to subscribe and rate as well. Thank you.